Hey everyone, today we are going to be joining our vCenter server appliance to the domain or our domain if you have one, which I recommend you do. So let's get started. Log in. And once you're logged in, uh, it should take a minute here. Once you're logged in, you want to click on menu and go all the way to administration. And when you're under administration, go to under single sign on under configurations go to active directory as you can see this active Directory didn't join uh, ad that's because i used uh, the this here dot local and let's go to join ad and our domain it's home dot lab yeah, organizational units are optional so i'm gonna just put the administrator password here um, or rather username and password as you can see there's a one in here once you do this you have to reboot your appliance so you, the changes can take effect so I'm gonna go ahead and join and now we are joined to uh, our domain so I have to reboot so I'm gonna pause this and um, We'll come back when it's done. So to reboot this, I have to go back to OSINS clusters. So to restart our vCenter server, since I added it to uh, our data center, I'll go to the data center vCenter server, come over here, go under actions, power options, and go to restart guest OS. We shall be back once this is done. All right, our vCenter server has rebooted. Now you would think you can use now your domain username. Uh, well, that's not the case. We have some more configuration to go or to do. So we're gonna go ahead and log in. Once we're logged in, uh, just in a minute, we are gonna go back to administration. And go under access control global permissions okay under global permissions actually before we get there let's go back to configurations over here and go to our identity sources and add an identity source and it's uh, the type is gonna be active directory and that's the home lab so go ahead and add and then we're gonna set our domain as a default. So you highlight um, home.lab or whatever domain name you name your domain controller and set as the default. Yes, I want to proceed. And now our home.lab domain is the default. So after that, you wanna go to uh, global permissions and access control. And here we can add groups and permissions. So if you click the plus sign, we can go ahead and add another. Uh, by default, it's gonna be the vSphere.local. That's the one that I set on this second v, v center. But if you watched my video, then you should know you already logged in as a domain uh, because I used a domain for setting up the uh, vCenter server. But we're gonna select our domain over here and then first I'm gonna use the administrator account I haven't created any groups or anything and I uh, will click OK I mean yep then administrator is added I'm gonna go here again and add another user I'm gonna use see I think I have a user there you go Robert I'm gonna use that one and the role I'm gonna give him is administrator as you can see there is a uh, you can have other roles like a virtual machine user or just tagging admin or content library administrator but I'm just gonna make this user as an administrator recently and then you can click OK now to test this we're gonna go up here 
and log out let's see if this will work as you can see we've been added over there and instead of using vc.local I'm going to add home.lab and enter my admin password which is super 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 secret let's log in okay and this is an error let me see what I missed all right I found out what the problem was so let's go ahead and give this another try it's home dot dot lab All right. Once you're logged back in, back in, uh, there's something that I forgot to do when I was joining the users. Uh, I guess I can do that over there. Let's go back to administration, and then the global settings. When we added a user, uh, remember when we had to use to add a user make sure you check propagate to children otherwise you won't be able to log in uh, I don't know why I forgot to do that but yeah I it slipped my mind but propagate to children and you'll be able to log in I can show you with this one as you can see it's checked and just to prove this concept we're gonna log out Now let's log in back in and we're gonna use well my username over here make sure you select the right domain which is home dot lab I click on login uh, And there you go. As you can see, our domain is has changed from this field local to home dot lab. Just remember to check on propagate children, and it will be all set to go. Now you can make groups and users and give them permissions accordingly. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.